I just posted a video about a safe cracking liquor cabinet that uses an Arduino and a stepper motor to turn the dial on a safe to the correct combination. Before I started that project, I decided to keep a little notepad by me so that I could try and remember how I ended up with a finished product programming that Arduino because I don't actually know how to code. All of my projects, the inourfridge.com, uh, temperature tracking in the trailer, the Make Alexa Control Anything video, all of those programs were written by basically just mashing together other people's projects. Similar to learning Spanish, I've always told myself that learning how to program was one of the most valuable skills you could have both now and definitely in the future, but I never actually make it a priority. Uh, I really tried to teach myself JavaScript at one point, and I really tried to teach myself Python twice, and that never followed through either time. So I have like the most basic, like thin cracking foundation you might have just because I've at least gotten through part one of many of those tutorials. But to actually write a program from beginning to end, completely out of my league. So maybe this video will be really helpful for you if you're trying to get involved in Arduino or Raspberry Pi and don't know where to begin. Or it could be just a huge disservice to you because I kind of encourage taking the lazy route. Either way, here's the lazy way. Step one. Break down your project into the most very basic components you can. For the safe cracker, as an example, I needed to understand how a keypad and an Arduino interact. I needed to understand how to drive a stepper motor with an Arduino. And then finally, I needed to know how to turn that stepper motor a certain number of rotations, stop it, reverse it, a certain number of rotations, stop it, reverse it. Step two, find tutorials or forum posts online that address only or as close to as you can those very basic needs. So let's get into the nuts and bolts of this safe cracking liquor cabinet project. First thing I found, I googled Arduino keypad and I found a YouTube video of a guy that was creating a locking mechanism for his like deadbolt with the exact keypad I had and a servo motor. And so I thought, well this is pretty close, I could probably replace the servo motor with a stepper motor. So I got his project working from beginning to end. Now it's important that I chose this project because there was a lot of other options out there of people doing much more complex things with the keypad entry. Someone, you know, controlling a CNC. So they not only had the keypad, they had three stepper motors and the software for all that and a digital readout showing like what you had typed and where the head was, all that kind of stuff. Super interesting, but way too confusing and too hard to dissect without knowing how to code which parts I actually needed. So I got the keypad and the servo motor working. Now it was time to remove that entirely from the equation and just focus on the stepper motor. So my first stop was the actual documentation for the easy driver. And that actually turned out to be really helpful. With that, I was able to turn the stepper motor by entering a number on my keyboard. It interfaced with the USB serial. So now I knew I at least had everything wired correctly because I got my keypad working at one tutorial and I got my stepper motor working in another but I was using the keyboard rather than the keypad to drive it. Next, I spent about 45 minutes probably Googling different ways to control stepper motors because all of the tutorials I found, uh, you know, showed you how to use a potentiometer or a push button and basically just had the stepper motor running infinitely in one direction or the other. None of them actually had it start and stop at a certain distance. So finally, I found this tutorial that showed me how to do that. So I just got lucky, I copy and pasted the first reverse direction, which gave me one direction one way, reverse, stop, reverse, stop. So at that point, I felt comfortable controlling at least that part of the project. Step three, this is the fun part, combine relevant parts of those separate tutorials. Now that all the basic functions were sorted out, it's time to put them all together. My first course of action for step three was to combine tutorials two and three. I wanted it so that when I pressed one on my keyboard, it would turn the stepper motor one direction, stop the other way, stop the other way, basically the combination on the safe. To swap the keyboard to the keypad was actually really straightforward. All I did was copy and paste the first half of tutorial one into my mashup of tutorial two and three, and it just kind of worked. I had to swap a couple of inputs because a few of the inputs of the keypad overlapped with the inputs and outputs of the stepper motor, but I know enough to be able to at least know that, you know, in and out and a number represents the ins and outs on the numbers of the Arduino. So then it was just a bunch of trial and error. Uh, first, I got it just to turn one full rotation in each direction, trial and error, tweaking, and the rest is history. I have a working safe cracking robot that I can store my liquor in. So 
I hope that was helpful. That's how I do it. You're much more likely to get a response from people. People really want to help, but you're going to get a response if you are starting somewhere and presenting a simple problem. If you just say, I want a safe cracking robot, how would I program that? No one's going to respond to you. But if you say, I have this safe cracking robot, but I can't get it to stop turning, it just keeps looping, someone will just say, do this one little thing, and that usually bumps me along to the next step. So, divide everything up into basic, basic components, find tutorials that only address those components, learn how those components work, put it all together, bing, bang, boom, you've got yourself a project. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.